Hi, my favorite people. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Julianne and I make videos all about candles and running a candle business. Today, we're going to be making a bear candle. So in my hand is this bear candle. And I know a lot of you might have seen this in shops or photographs, Instagram, websites and wondered oh how can i make this or oh, i'm never going to be able to get there or oh, i can't wait till i can make this bear candle well i'm here to tell you that it's actually pretty easy so we're going to need a beer glass this is the beer glass i'll be using for this candle i couldn't find anything smaller i hope the wax i have is enough for this glass and I'm using zinc wick the right size for this jar only it's a bit too short so I'm going to have to start halfway with the wick then I'll be using yellow dye block and brown I'm going to combine these two to give me a gold like shade for the beer candle and then I'm using Chardonnay from the flaming candle just because I love the smell I couldn't find any beer as realistic as I would like a beer to smell the closest to it was the beer fragrance oil from nature's garden so you can give that a try but I'm using Chardonnay from the flaming candle for this beer candle today 2.5 ounce of paraffin 5 ounce of gel So I just added tiny bit of yellow and brown to try and achieve that golden color. I do know that you can use liquid dyes which are easier and better. You just need a drop. And I think a gold color, orange gold or something like that is available in the liquid dye. So that would be more appropriate. I think we have a nice color so far. What do you think? I think the color is okay. I think the color is perfect actually. More yellow than brown guys. Okay. You want to have more yellow than you do brown so you have a gold shade right down the middle so that it doesn't interfere okay with the side of the jar make sure you're getting it right down the middle So I'm just going to keep whipping this paraffin wax until we have it nice and foamy. Okay, we're almost there now. As you can see, we want it nice and foamy. So we're just going to whip this until we have that. We want to make sure that before you place the whipped paraffin onto the gel, the gel is completely solid now a way to do that is to use your skewer or your toothpick to test it out okay now i believe we have a fine consistency as you can see it's not dropping down 
so that's a fine consistency so let's go ahead straighten our wig some more and you want to do this gently if you use a spoon even better okay Straighten your wig as you go. Just going to use this to flatten it out a bit and then Just a little more. There we have it. Our bed candle is ready, guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section. You can fill this up with foam if you would like to have some more in there, which I think I'm going to do now. And then when you're done, make sure your wick is straight your wick is centered and then you go ahead and wipe your jar with some tissue and alcohol to make it more presentable okay there we have our bare candle all we need to do next is wipe down with some tissue and alcohol make it more presentable and we're done so guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up like this video subscribe to my channel for more videos and love you guys bye